All right, greetings everybody, and welcome to part two of all the stuff that I got for Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> so I have a big pile of stuff in front of me, a pile here, some stuff over there. So yeah, um, so, well, this year, I think this year was the realm of Funko, because <laughs> apparently I got a bunch of Funko Pops. Um, so where to start? Uh, well, let's, well. First of all, let's get this little guy out of the way. Uh, this guy is from the Cantina Bar. Um, has a little drink there. I cannot remember what his name is, but I'm like, hmm, he's pretty cool. Uh, let's hear that up next. I uh, have this really cool one. This is from Return of the Jedi. We have C-3PO and Chief Chirpa there. Um, then up next, uh, we have this really cool... Um, Joker Imposter Batman. How awesome is that? And then we have ourselves a couple of Lokis. Yeah. How cool is that? Um, I want to say that this is probably from Ragnarok, and I think this is from the TV series, but I don't know. They could both be from the TV series. Um, then up next, uh, we have... The Falcon, uh, from Falcon and the Winter Soldier, because uh, obviously he's got the shield there and the new um, outfit. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then, well, we also have, with the shield, we have the Winter Soldier. Yeah, how cool is that? So literally we have the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Coincidence, right? Uh, let's hear that up next. Uh, we have, from uh, The Last Jedi, we've got uh, Princess Leia there. Which is pretty cool. Uh, well, also from The Last Jedi, we have Rey in her Jedi training outfit with the lightsaber, of course. <clears throat> then, let's hear what else. Um, oh, I found these two while I was out shopping. Uh, found these at a, thr at a thrift store for like peanuts. <laughs> uh, here we have um, Han Solo there. And then we also have the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Then up next, we have um, the Emperor's Royal Guard there. That's pretty cool. And then, well, speaking of Deadpool, because you know, Deadpool is riding a unicorn. New shirt, by the way. Um, we got Deadpool. Yeah, can't go wrong with Deadpool, but come on. It's just Deadpool, that's all you need to know. <laughs> uh, let's see here, then up next, we have one of these bigger base ones. Uh, with the Tauntaun, we have Han Solo riding the Tauntaun. First, I thought it was Luke, but uh, Luke actually has white on the outside of his outfit, and the goggles are above here, so. That's actually pretty cool, it comes on a base. Oh, uh, let's see here. Then up next, uh, I got this really cool Funko Pop uh, keychain of Han Solo. A little mini one. Uh, let's see here. Then up next, we have... Um, well, I love Nightmare Before Christmas, but we got Oogie Boogie. Yeah, with his dice there. I think this is like Glows in the Dark or something. I don't really know. But, uh, you know, we always say it's pretty cool. Now, this one I found for myself. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, when I saw it, because I absolutely love the Universal Monsters, and I don't. these are very, very hard to track down, obviously, because they're collector's items. But, hey, I'm not going to complain. But we have the Invisible Man. Yeah, that was pretty cool. You're crazy to know who I am, aren't you? I'll show you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Then up next, we have, from The Mandalorian, we've got... Um, the Remnant Stormtrooper. Yeah. Uh, then we also got, from the art series, we have Black Panther, which is kind of hard to tell, but he he's purple on there because it kind of shows off his, um, whenever he gets hit, obviously, his armor powers up. Then we also got, from Jurassic Park, we got Dr. Anne Malcolm. Life finds a way. Yeah. Uh, let's see here then. Well, we have one that's, well, it's not the package because it's being played with, <laughs> which is fine because it was for him. Uh, we have from Five Nights at Freddy's, we've got Balloon Foxy. 
yeah. And then for the spouse, I found this cute little guy. This is the one I was trying to track down for. It took me about six months to finally find one. Thank God I finally did. Because he's so cute. Uh, we have from Guardians of the Galaxy 3, we've got Little Baby Rocket. Yeah. That's hard to find, too. And then this one. Uh, I found this while I was out shopping during uh, Black Friday. And it was just... I think I found this randomly at a Big Lots. And uh, it was, like, marked, like, like, extremely way down or whatever. I couldn't help myself. And I'm like, okay. We have Professor Hulk. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I love the fact that he has, like, little bunny slippers down there, too. This is awesome. And then this one was a big surprise. I had no idea I was getting this. Um, but here we have from The Last Jedi. I got several Last Jedi, if you haven't noticed. Uh, we got Kylo Ren in his TIE Fighter. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I want to say this is it. Yeah, this is The Last Jedi. Because it's got the whole uh, red things thing going to it. But yeah. Anyways, but yeah, that's pretty cool, though. I thought that was awesome. Alrighty, uh, let's see what up next. Um, oh, uh, cup. Well, we also got some little figurines and stuff like that there as well. Some little collectibles. Um, this is a shout out to Alien Theory because he had mentioned uh, on the channel in one of the most recent videos, "Show off what you got." So I'm like, okay, I got a couple alien things related. Uh, I found this for myself. I got this as a little stocking stuffer. Um, uh, shoot, what is it? from um it is uh oh yeah it is of course ripley from aliens so that's pretty cool there's little tiny figurines and whatnot that's awesome like i had to get that found that at ollie's by the way and then my wife surprised me with this <laughs> cool little thing um i think this is actually from loot crate but uh here we have alien out for a walk that's actually kind of cool i have no idea what this is and um it's just kind of funny that uh, that's funny. The alien's using a cell phone and the uh, uh, the face hugger is uh, literally peeing gas and on a hydrant. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my! So uh, let's see what else. Then um, oh, she found. And then we got a couple few things from Jurassic Park as well. Uh, we found this really cool um, Hallmark or Christmas ornament of the Jeep from the first movie, which is awesome. And also speaking of the Jeep, we got this cool little uh, Jeep Wrangler diecast or whatever, which is pretty awesome. And then we also got, of course, the little Ford Explorer. So yeah, there we go. Um, so then, well, what do we always talk about on this channel? Books, movies, and video games, right? Alrighty, so let's get through the other pile of stuff, which is over here. All right, so first up, um, some of these I got, you know, on sale or, well, obviously on sale, but uh, a couple of them I found at uh, Goodwill. Um, of course, I remember watching this show when it was on. Um, it sucks it only lasted four seasons, but it's so good. Uh, we have the complete first season of Turn Washington Spies. And then we also got the second season of Washington Spies. The only these seasons... Three and four, and that's it. So I got half the show right there. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Let's put the movies... Let's put the games down first. Alrighty. So let's go through the movies, shall we? Alright, so first up... Um, <laughs> I found this at a thrift store. Most of these... The, most of these I bought after Christmas. And... Um, so... Uh, first off, uh, well, once again, to Alien Theory, um, I found this really awesome documentary entitled Memory, the Origins of Alien. Yeah, uh, not bad at all. I think I found this, got this for like 75 cents, which is awesome. All right, then uh, up next, I found, got some more bleach added to the collection. So here we have uh, Season 4, Part 2, which fe features episodes 80 through 91. And so the, the rest of these movies I'm going to show off, uh, except for these two Blu-rays down here. We'll show those off first. Uh, these were Black Friday movies that I completely forgot I found. Um, 
So first off, we have Gerard Butler in plain. Yeah, pretty cool. And then we have Idris, Idris Alba in beast. That's pretty cool. All right, so then the rest of these, um, these were all like 60% off, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, so first up, we have uh, some horror movie um, featuring none other than Jigsaw and, of course, Lin Shay. Uh, we have The Call. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then we have this 10 movie collection. The ultimate action hero of, of course, Bruce Willis has... 10 of his films in here and I only have seen I think two of these the rest of these I've never seen uh which include uh Red and Red 2 Extraction Precious Cargo Survive the Night Fire with Fire uh 10 minute 10 minutes gone Midnight to Switchgrass Fortress and Marauders yeah so it sounds like a awesome awesome time with of course you know Bruce himself kicking ass as he always likes to do uh then up next found this cool western uh directed by Walter Hill um which is I think one of his more current movies uh who he's the guy who directed of course um you know uh the Warriors and loads of other great movies but also is one of the producers of the Alien series uh so here we have with Christoph Waltz and Willem Dafoe, we have Dead for a Dollar. And up next, we have one of Mark Wahlberg's uh, latest movies. It looks pretty cool, some sort of sci-fi action or movie. Uh, we have Infinite, directed by Antoine Fuqua, by the way. Um, so then up next, well, I think this basically completes my James Wan collection, as far as I know. Um, I think the only movie of his that I don't have so far um, we have Malignant, which is pretty cool. And then up next, we have, of course, got to have some Liam Neeson every holiday. Um, we have The Commuter. Yeah, I've never seen this artwork before, so I'm like, this one's kind of cool. I'll take this one instead versus the other artwork. This one's kind of, I don't know why it's better. And then we have... Uh, from Ty West, which I've heard great things about. I've never seen these movies. Um, but here we have X, starring Mia Goth. I don't believe how you pronounce her name. And then finally, for the movies, we have a movie that's been um, talked about quite a bit, I believe, on uh, JoeBlow.com. Uh, but here we have Psycho Gorman. <laughs> yeah, it sounded pretty cool. So... Alrighty, so let's move on to the video games. Yeah. Um, so, we got loads and loads of great PS3 and, of course, PS4 games. So, we finally have completed the trilogy on this um, series. I'm trying to track this one down, and it was... I found this at... Uh, where did I find it at? Um, uh, half Price. Uh, so here we have Lost Planet 3. Yeah. Uh, I'll put this over here. And then we have, uh, came across this, never heard of it. Uh, sounded interesting, one of those titles that you never really find anywhere. Uh, but here we have Blade Storm, The 100 Years War. That looked like a lot of fun. And then uh, I found this at, um, during Black Friday. Um... We have Escape Dead Island. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. All right, so now we're moving on to the PlayStation 4 games. Yeah. All right, so first up, uh, let's see, I got um, Injustice 2, the Legendary Edition, which has basically everything in it. So that's awesome. Uh, well, this game I'm currently playing right now because it's awesome. Uh, so here I got uh, Destiny, the collection, which features the main game and, of course, all of the expansions. So there you go. Uh, up next, I got uh, Dishonored 2. Then up next, um, mind you, most of these games I found at Disc Replay uh, when I was out Christmas shopping and whatnot. Um, so i uh, got Just Cause 3. Yeah. Most of these were like $1.99. I'm kind of surprised they were that cheap. Uh, then up next, we got 
Call of Duty World War II. Yeah, looking forward to playing that game. And finally, um, well, you probably saw in my other video that I got Mortal Kombat 11. Um, but I was surprised I got this. Uh, we have Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yeah. Yeah, but so, a little funny story is that I had to run a disc replay. And, um, well, not really for anything, but I wasn't expecting to. But as you probably know, my PS4 is the Star Wars version. And my controller decided to die. Yeah. So, I had to go get myself a new controller. But, at least it's an official Sony licensed one. Oh, yeah. I was still wearing my PJ bottoms. So I could care less. But, I got this really cool uh, camouflage controller. Yeah. And then, I was surprised by a couple of books. Um, you know, with me being a fan of, of course, you know, Star Wars and Star Trek. Uh, I got um, Star Trek Time Trap, yeah, by uh, David Dor Dorfkin, I believe is how you pronounce his name, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. Excuse me. Uh, and then I have the novelization of Star Trek Nemesis, yeah. And then I was kind of surprised by these. Uh, we have... The special collector's edition, we have the Mad Spoof Star Wars uh, from Mad Magazine. Loads of other great um, spoofs and stuff from like Planet of the Apes, Aliens, uh, you know, E.T., a whole bunch of cool stuff. So, yeah, that's awesome. And then I also got uh, the newest edition. I'm not sure which year this is. Uh, but here we have the newest edition. We have the Star Wars Character Encyclopedia. Yeah. Uh, down in the nitty gritty, we end with some track. Yeah. Uh, so first up, I found at um, at half price. This was actually in their clearance section for like I think two bucks. Uh, we have the Star Trek Encyclopedia. Yeah. Now this goes all the way up to. Around the time of ninety four, I think when, um, um, I think when they were when Generations was coming out at the time, so yeah, it's thick. Loads of Star Trek to read, and then we have the Star Trek: The Next Generation Companion, yeah, which is pretty cool. Uh, this goes all the way up to I believe it. It's not the entire show. It says a complete show by show guide. Um, it actually is not complete at the time of when this book came out. Um, this came out, of course, in 1992. Um, because it only goes all the way up to the fifth season. So they still hadn't shot, uh, season six or season seven at that point. But this book, though, it's not Star Trek, but it is Star Wars. Uh, I found this for, like, who's in there a clearance section I'm like I have to get this but uh, we have this really cool hardcover um, book by uh, Stephen J. Sansweet we have the Star Wars Encyclopedia this was two bucks by the way which is a steal for something like this you probably see this thing you know go for a buttload of money but it normally came out as like 50 bucks but I think I'd much rather spend two dollars on this thing yeah Oh, let's see, let's see here. What else? Um, anything else? Oh, yeah. Still a couple more things here. Hang on. Uh, let's see. I got uh, this really cool uh, child. <laughs> oh, that's not part of it. Uh, got this really cool uh, Grogu figure with his, of course, his little baby pod there. And then in here, uh, let's see. I got this really cool Mandalorian lunchbox. No, it's not for lunch. Um, you can hear all the rattling in there, uh, because it was absolutely filled with a whole bunch of Matchbox cars. Yeah, featuring Jurassic Park and Batman, loads of great stuff. So yeah, and then, my nephew thought I'd like this, uh, we have, he got me, uh, this really cool, um, Optimus Prime truck, which is awesome. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. 
And yeah, so that's about it. Oh, yeah. Good Lord. Lots of great stuff. I hope you guys had a uh, Merry Christmas and whatnot. And also, of course, you know, have a safe and happy new year. Um, you know, leave a comment down below. Show off whatever you got. Um, you know, if you do, just, uh, you know, share a link to whatever it is you guys got. And, you know, I'll watch it. Comment down below on that video. Um, so, yeah. Uh, with that, you know, have a good New Year's. And uh, this will probably be the last video for 2023. Obviously, because, well, the New Year is literally right around the corner. And uh, I gotta start figuring out what to do for next year. Yeah, probably we'll do some more probably do some more reviews next year and not quite so much as many updates and whatnot. Um, you know, try to expand the channel content out a little bit. But, yeah. So with that, you know, like, subscribe, hit that notification button. And with that, I'll see you guys next year. See ya.